Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to solve exercise 8.2 problems. First one, in the adjacent figure ABCD is a parallelogram. ABEF is a rectangle. Show that triangle AFD is congruent to triangle BEC. So here, this ABCD is a parallelogram and ABEF is a rectangle. So we have to prove those two triangles or this triangle and this triangle are congruent. So just write the given information. ABCD is a parallelogram and ABEF is a rectangle. So now you know the properties of parallelogram and properties of rectangle. Okay. To prove these two triangles are congruent, we use those properties. So first write the triangles. We will compare triangle AFD. Okay. In triangle AFD and triangle BEC. Okay. See now. So ABCD is a parallelogram and ABEF is a rectangle. So in parallelogram opposite sides are parallel and equal. Right. And in rectangle also opposite sides are parallel and equal. Okay. So we can write now AB is equals to CD. Right. So and AD is equals to BC also. So here in this triangle AD is there. AD is equals to BC. Okay. So ABCD is a parallelogram. So you can write sides of parallelogram. Or opposite sides of parallelogram also you can write. Opposite sides of parallelogram. So next we can write. AF is equals to BE. Okay. So AF is equals to BE. So here we can write again opposite sides of rectangle. Opposite sides of rectangle. Okay. And in the in these two triangles we have only one side left. AD and AF. So DF and CE is remaining. Okay. So we can prove these two are equal. So see now here I am explaining. So we have AB is equals to CD. AB, AB is equals to CD and AB is equals to EF also. Opposite sides of parallelogram and rectangle. So now we can say CD is equals to EF. Okay. So from this figure CD means CE plus DE. We can write CE plus DE. And EF means DE plus DF. DE plus DF. So now DE, DE we can cancel. So finally CE is equals to DF. Okay. So the same we can write here. CE is equals to DF. Okay. So since AB is equals to CD and AB is equals to EF. Finally CD is equals to also EF. CD means CE plus DE and EF means DE plus DF. So if we cancel finally CE is equals to DF. Okay. So now in these two triangles three sides are equal. Corresponding three sides are equal. So therefore triangle AFD is congruent to triangle BEC. By what congruent rule or by which congruent rule? By triburous rule. Side 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 congruence rule. So in the second method we can solve this problem like this without uh, using this point we can take another angle here. See this this is AB E 
F is a rectangle. Right. So A, B, E, F is a rectangle. So this is um, right angle and this is also right angle. Okay. So if it is right angle and this side is also right angle now. Okay. So here straight line will form. So, so we can write angle A, F, D is equals to angle B, E, C equals to 90 degrees. What is the reason? Angles in rectangle. Okay. So now two sides and two sides are equal and angle is right angle. So by RHS congregant rule by right angle hypotenuse side rule these two triangles are congregant. Triangle a of D is congregant to triangle B E C. Okay. So either this way or in this way. You can solve in any way. I think it's very easy to take this point. Without taking this point, we can solve in this way. Second problem. Show that the diagonals of a rhombus divide it into four congregant triangles. The same problem is in 10th class also. Okay, so we have to show that uh, diagonals divide the rhombus into four congregant triangles. So, first draw a rhombus figure and write given ABCD is a rhombus. So, you can solve in another method also, but this is very, very easiest method. So, required to prove. RTP means required to prove. So, what we have to prove? All these four triangles are congruent. The same I wrote. AOB, BOC, COD and AOD. Okay. So to prove first, I am comparing triangle AOB and triangle BOC. So we know all the sides of rhombus are equal. Na? So AB is equals to BC. What is the reason? Sides of rhombus. Okay. Next step. And AO is also equals to OC because diagonals bisect each other. Okay. Diagonals bisect each other. So AO, this one, AO is equals to OC. And if you observe, so OB is present in this triangle and in this triangle also. So OB is equals to OB common side. So therefore, three sides are equal. Na? So triangle AOB is congregant to triangle BOC by which rule? By triple S rule. Okay. So, similarly, we can prove BOC, COD, also congregant. So, similarly, BOC and COD. If you compare, BC is equals to CD and OB equals to OD. Diagonals bisect each other. OC is common side. Okay. Again, similarly, COD and AOD. Sides of the rhombus and diagonals bisect each other. Common side. And finally, AOD and AOB is also congruent. We can write like this. So, triangle AOD is congruent to triangle AOB. So, reason by triple S rule. So, now, so this, say this is 1, 2, 3, 4. So, now we can write from... 1, 2, 3, 4. What we can say? Triangle AOB is congregant to triangle BOC. Again, triangle BOC is congregant to triangle COD. Okay. Again, triangle COD is congregant to triangle AOD. 
So triangle AOD again congregated to triangle AOB. That's already proved. Okay. So in this way we can we can say uh, the diagonals of the rhombus divide it into four congregant triangles. Okay. Next, a third problem. In quadrilateral ABCD, the bisector of angle C and angle D intersect at O. So prove that angle COD is equals to half of angle A plus angle B. So just write the given steps or given information. Given in quadrilateral ABCD, bisectors of angle C and angle D intersect at O. Okay. So by using this information, Okay, picture and I am draw this. So they intersect at O. So angle O C D means angular bisector. Antonar kada. So C lo half half of angle C and angle O D C half of angle D. So now in triangle O C D okay triangle kada. So in triangle O C D the sum of three angles equals to 180. So first angle C O D plus angle OCD plus angle ODC is equals to 180 degrees. Okay. So angle COD plus angle OCD we can write as half angle C plus angle ODC we can write as half angle D equals to 180. So now I am multiplying with the two on both sides. Okay. You can write by multiplying with 2 on both sides. So now 2 angle COD plus 2 into 2, 2 to get cancelled now. So 2 halves means 1 only. So angle C plus angle D equals to 2 into 180. So that is 2 angle COD 2 into 180 means 360 is equals to now if we transpose to our hs we can write 360 minus of angle c plus angle d okay so let it be 1 now what is uh, sum of four angles in a quadrilateral? It is 360. So angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D is equals to 360 degrees. Okay. So angle A plus angle B is equals to, if you transpose these two terms, 360 minus of angle C plus angle D. So let it be 2. So observe 1 and 2. Both right hand side are equal. Okay. So from 1 and 2. Both right hand side RHS are equal. So we can equal the LHS terms. 2 angle COD is equals to angle A plus angle B. Okay. So now angle COD is equals to this. If we transpose this 1 by 2 of angle A plus angle B. So this is what we have to prove. So hence proved. Okay. Students, these are the solutions of exercise 8.2. Students, please like this video and please, please share with your friends and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.